So for our body fat, we got a couple areas we can check out here. Uh, we got poundage body fat, percentage body fat, our visceral fat level, and the segmental fat. Now the segmental fat, I don't put any stock into because it's a total guess on the machine's part. I don't, I don't put much stock into it just due to the fact that it's a guess and it cannot be correlated. So I would just leave it alone. Uh, take it or leave it, I always leave it. Uh, but the poundage value up here isn't telling us how we, you know, how we compare. It's just a straight up number. It's great for setting goals um, and understanding that poundage value. But here is where you can see that poundage value and how it, if it falls into this ideal range here. This dash is indicating an ideal range. So if you if your graph stops within that dash, you are within the ideal range, not average, not normal for uh, poundage of body fat. Then we got percentage down here can see uh, these little numbers 10 to 20 percent that dash is indicating an ideal range this individual falls into it at 13.4 percent body fat um, up here you got 80 100 again just percentiles so the dash is is the ideal range you can be under you can be over and still be healthy but the dash is those are those ideal ranges 18 to 28 percent for women uh, but where I really like to focus on in the body fat is this visceral fat number. Visceral fat is an area actually surrounding our internal organs. Uh, we can't see or pinch it, but it's under there and we'll never have no visceral fat, uh, but it is the higher risk factor fat. The stuff below our skin, that subcutaneous fat, just isn't as dangerous to our health as the, the fat built up around our organs. So we're on a scale here of one to 20. 10 being that baseline, that middle, uh, that kind of aiming point. You want to be 10 or below. 10 or below is positive. 10 or above is going to put you at a higher risk for pretty much everything bad in health. We're talking cardiovascular disease, heart disease, diabetes. Uh, just run down the list and it puts you at a higher risk. So uh, what I've seen to control this number is typically diet. I don't see it move that much with exercise. You can't outrun a bad diet. And this one is also affect by, affected by your genes. So if you have family history of heart disease, uh, cardiovascular disease, things like that, uh, definitely keep a closer eye on your visceral fats. Um, that's the one we wanna control for overall health.